Hey guys, it's Joey. So just finished watching a new episode of Twin Peaks called There's a Body Alright. So much happened in this episode, as with every episode. I'm gonna start with Diane, Laura Dern as Diane. Phenomenal. Bit of a bit of a sailor's mouth on her, but for good reason. She seems to have been having a real hard time since Cooper turned into Evil Cooper or Evil Cooper came out. It seems like they must have had a meeting that day or days after Cooper, Evil Cooper got out and something went down, not sure what, seems to have upset her a lot. She still holds on to it after 25 years. God knows what Evil Cooper did to Diane, but her Laura Dern's performance in this episode was really great. She really played off that like sort of shooken fear, like sadness, like all these emotions, and she knows that's not Cooper. So hopefully this leads us a little bit closer to finding where real Cooper is. Um, and I think we're getting there. Gordon seems to know that, seems to believe her. Um, the key is back with Ben Horn at the Great Northern. Cooper did that karate shit on the dwarf. And, you know, he's probably going to be on the news and somebody's probably going to see it that recognizes him and they're going to freak out. There's a scene in the Great Northern where they're panning and I, I thought it was going to be Audrey watching the news and seeing him, but... No such luck. Just like a weird, eerie noise and, you know, that interaction between Ben and his new employee. You know, can't teach an old dog new tricks. He's up to his same old stuff, it seems like. But one of the, I guess, the most emotional parts of the episode was when two sheriffs are talking to two Trumans. Uh, you don't really hear, Har you don't hear Harry's voice, but he's talking to him and he's beat this he says beat this thing it's it kind of got me right here i love harry as a character I, I really hope he ends up showing up in the season i know he's not announced but i really hope he shows up so going back to cooper sort of karate chopping the dwarf i love naomi watts's character in this janie she's such a badass she she definitely sort of she she grew on me since the last episode in this episode she's just she just gets them. I like it. I love it. Um, I might be a little biased because I love Naomi Watts as an actress, but her character is just no bullshit ever. She fights for her husband, who seems to be brain dead, but she doesn't seem to really care that much, which is a little odd. But, you know, that I like that dynamic that's growing, and I feel like well, we're going to get to a point where we love it, and then he's going to wake up, and it's going to be broken, and we're all going to be devastated. And then I guess the big point of this show was evil cooper sort of talking to diane and you know basically requesting and getting this breakout which wasn't really even a breakout he he basically asked for it sort of blackmailed the the warden to get him out and now he's free and mr strawberry uh he's dealing with the magic guy it's there's a there's a lot happening here there's a lot of conspiracy going on and I can't wait to get to the bottom of it, hopefully soon. I feel like, I think we're going to have to wait two weeks for a new episode of Twin Peaks, which is going to suck, but I guess we could go through episodes one through seven, and just rewatch them, pick them apart, and see what comes of it. So the last thing I want to touch on is the thing with Briggs' body. Uh, the general, or whom, whomever she is, seems to really believe that's Briggs' body, but his body is sort of... The age he would have been when the original series aired and his like early 40s early mid 40s and it seems well preserved <laughs> you know for what what it is a decapitated you know body and i feel like they're gonna get closer to something with that i'm really liking this briggs thing i want to know where it goes i mean we saw his head floating through space that might have something to do with it but i feel like the body and the head are I just want to know where that rabbit hole goes. I don't think they've touched on that story enough. So it's. I hope they start showing more of what that is and what that's going to be. Who knows? They might just give you little nibbles until the end. Until we return to Twin Peaks. Also, one scene that got me super excited. Uh, Laura Palmer's theme song plays when Andy is sort of on the road waiting for that trucker guy to come meet him at 4.30. And I got I got chills because I know we haven't really heard any of the original series music much, Angelo Badalamenti's music. And then I heard Laura Palmer's theme song and I, I just, 
I, I jumped up and I was like biting my nails. It was super exciting. So I feel like that is something. The fact that they're introducing the music slowly um, is, is something. It's something. Okay, and just the last point, the scene at the end, I didn't catch what the guy said when he ran into the diner. So if you caught what he said, please, you know, comment what he said in the mess the, the comments below. I'm gonna rewatch it and see if I can figure out what it was. But if you watch this before I catch it, please let me know. Um, I totally missed it. I couldn't hear it, and I missed it. And finally, the <laughs> the broom scene when they're the bro sweeping the the bang bang bar is <laughs> three minutes of sweeping. Uh, I thought that was gonna be the end. I thought they were just gonna go right to the end, but. I feel like that there's already a dy I think they're changing the dynamic a little bit. I don't know if they're gonna keep showing the music like they they have been with the bands. I feel like it's they're gonna pull away from that now. I know they have that soundtrack set up, but I think they're gonna play other music in its place. But I, I I don't know if they're still gonna do those live band things at least for a couple episodes. I might be wrong. But Jacques Renault or whatever Mike Renault, Jean Renault, however you want to pronounce it. He's up to the same old tricks his brother was and his family going, I guess, 50 years back. It's it's insane. That family is so gross and evil. And the whole, that whole conversation he had on the phone was just disgusting. All right, guys. So let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. Please, I want, if you found something that I missed, I didn't touch on. I know this, these are very general little videos that I'm making because I need a couple of viewings to really catch a lot of the little things. So if you caught anything I didn't in this video, please share it below. I know other people will be interested to hear it. And if you like these videos, please subscribe because you guys are watching them they're doing well and i'd love to see some new faces every once in a while so subscribe to this channel get the videos each week and other kinds of videos and all the videos so thanks for watching and i shall catch you guys soon and it's not going to be another episode video because we're a little bit those are coming later so i'm going to make see if i can make another video about something maybe the secret diary maybe since we saw those those pieces which I didn't touch on in the video, but we got the pages to Laura Palmer's diary from the fire walk with me and the good Dales in the lot. Another video. I'm going to do a video about Laura Palmer's diary and I'm going to talk about that scene. So subscribe to get that. See, see what I did there? YouTubing real hard. Obnoxious, I know. See you guys later.